fuck Wait, I who's doing now. the intro? Who's doing the intro? I don't <clears throat> care who does the intro. Who's doing the intro? Because last time I stole, or I stole the outro let's from do, Cohen. Let's let Alex do it. Oh boy. Uh... Okay, three, <clears throat> two, one, go. Hey, Hello, everybody. Welcome, welcome back to the... <laughs> <laughs> go, oh, Alex. Alex. about to auto-save. Right. Uh, yeah, hello, everybody. Welcome uh, back to the Operation 18 podcast with your hosts, uh, Dane. Uh, we got Steven, and you got me. I'm Alex. Hot. Yeah. Okay, calm down, Hurricane Sandy. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so, Stephen uh, had something that he wanted to talk about. He was just dying to talk about it. I have one minute to talk about this. I'm going to give you... Hold on, let me pull up the timer. I'm going to give you 60 seconds to talk about this. Okay. And when 60 seconds is up... If you mention it once, fired. <laughs> wait, wait, let me get up there. Uh, all, right. <laughs> all right, you ready? Yeah, I gotta get mega into this, all right? All right, get ready. Get your my mic material and ready. Yep, it's all ready. All right, hold on. Let me set to. Let me set the. <laughs> okay, ready? Yep. And go. All right, everyone. So a new update came out for YouTube uh, today, which is the YouTube Partnership uh, Program that recently got changed from having to where small channels had to have at least 10,000 lifetime views to be eligible for monetization to now having 4,000 hours of watch time in the past 12 months and 1,000 subscribers, which is definitely a different thing. And a sig and they've also been talking about uh, the reason why they've been doing this is with spam and uh, smaller channels just trying to get up to the 10,000 uh views uh without you know actually producing content and uh content that people actually like right, that's all i wanted to say now you still have 10 seconds keep going i don't care <clears throat> keep going <laughs> all right so um gay no keep talking about it so uh basically they were talking about bad actors <laughs> My fire jet? Uh, no. My fire jet? <laughs> Just keeps checking. My fire jet. <laughs> be fired yet. Just fucking fire me already. <laughs> Just kill me. Just kill me. I'm ready. Right. I'm ready for this to be over with. So Alex, what have you been up to lately? Any passion Hopefully. projects? Uh, Any... I've been looking at the YouTube program. <laughs> 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 what have you been up so to? So much homework. Uh, is a uh, AP Euro is a big old class. A big old class. I probably shouldn't, have, probably shouldn't have taken the class. I'm not even really that good with history. Yeah. But I don't know. Hey, you know what we could talk about? We could talk about all the snow stuff that's happening in Georgia right now. Uh, Never I, can I add one more thing about the history thing? I feel like no. I would I would have wanted to take that class more if there just wasn't so much work. Yeah. Like if Mr. Young just or yeah, Mr. Young just didn't give us so much stuff, I'd Mr. feel a lot Man. better about taking that class. Mr. Yeah. History. I, Man. I love history. But, you know. I, I like history, it's just I'm not good at it. I'm great at it. I can remember God. Wow, Dan, why don't you brag even more? Dude, I'm Jesus better. was born on the time. third day of Christmas. What? Actually, there's uh, <laughs> evidence to suspect that Jesus was actually born sometime in, like, August or September. Yeah. Yeah, and not yeah, even like, anywhere close to December, yeah. Therefore, uh, Christmas yeah. is not going to be changed in August. And actually, and um, on the third millisecond, the fourth amoeba <laughs> was born. The date of uh, December 25th is actually derived from the... Uh, Pagan holiday uh, Saturnalia. Yeah. It was just like a holiday that they had, like where they like worshipped their uh, their god uh, Saturn. It was basically their equivalent of Zeus. And basically, when uh, like once like Christianity took rise, like took rise in the um, the Roman Empire, 
in the right country. Trying to, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the Romans were trying to, you know, they were trying to convert everybody to Christian to Christianity, and uh, they noticed that, like, you know, every, like almost everybody in the Roman Roman Empire was like pagan at the time. And so they said, like, okay, you can uh, keep, like, your traditions, like, and all, you know, all that, but, you know, we're going to Christianize them. And so that's how uh, uh, Christmas was created. They just uh, took the date from uh, Saturnalia. It's December 25th. This is the last day of uh, Saturnalia, and so they just took that date and said it was the uh, birth of Jesus. And then, Dude, did, you, did you know that New Year's Day is based off of the fact that it's the New Year? Whoa. Are you serious? Yeah. No way. And then, hey, 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 today I have off, okay? I don't want to learn any more about history. <laughs> All right, <well. laughs> yeah, I'm bad at it if I'm like, if like I have to learn, like if I have to learn about it. Like yeah, it's like, it, yeah. it's the same thing with like literature for me. If, if it's like, if I have to write a paper and it's a subject that I have no choice about, I dread it writing it. Yeah, I like, if I, like if I'm forced to learn it, then I don't, I don't. I don't yeah, I'm but then cousin if, actually got the opportunity and she's in college now. Uh, she got the opportunity to write a paper about um, like that, like why is something better than this? And she got to choose what those somethings were, and she chose why are like squirrels better than rats as pets? And like the paper when she pitched the idea to me, I was like, yeah, that's definitely an interesting thing to write a paper about. Her professor read it and said it was the weirdest thing he'd ever read, but it was, like, the best thing he'd ever read as well. And now yeah. he's, like, using her paper as an example for uh, what paper should be like. So, I well, mean, clearly writing stuff that you're passionate about is better than writing stuff that, like, a teacher made, told you uh, to write about. Yeah. Well, with, uh, like, in literature, uh, I'm an American. Or, look. Literature. Yeah. Literature. Um, <laughs> literature. Territory. The territory. Um, literature. U.S. Rest. territory of Puerto Rico. All right. Keep um, going, Stephen. But I'm in American Lit right now, and okay. the past papers that we had that we've had to write were over like certain books. <laughs> certain, certain books we've read and stuff like that. But then we just got a. Uh, a uh, new one, it's a research paper that we can make about anything that's American, that happened in American history. So, like, I'm extremely excited about it. Because, like, they gave us a bunch of... Um, in the Civil War? <laughs> when the Nazis invaded America. What? <laughs> <laughs> God. Um... Yeah, I'm in when world lit right now. I, I'm, I'm curious about what British lit will be like. Because I've always British. been fascinated about, like, Wait, British that like a, version of English. Is that, like, a mandatory thing that you guys have to take? 12th grade is British lit for us. Oh, that's weird. Well, like, you get to read, like, Beowulf, <laughs> which is, like, one of the first recorded uh, books in Old English. Um, it, it's weird because, like, my name derives from Old English. Like Dane, Yelf, yeah, like Yelf Dane is the old English da uh, name, so well, it, it's definitely interesting. I also am very fascinated about why British people spell color with a U, like just words in general, why they spell them differently from us. Like gray is G R E Y, I think, and then here it's G R A Y. Yeah, and like honor wow. there's uh, O M on hour or O, yeah, yeah. I'm I mean, also fascinated for... as to why they cut off the R in words. Like, instead of car, they say ka. They just don't say the oh, that's R. Just their, that's just their pronunciation. Uh, yes, accent. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just curious thing. as to, like, the history behind why they do that. That's, that's weird, because at my school, upbringing. it goes from ninth grade lit to 10th grade lit yeah, that's to world lit. American. No, we don't have world lit. <laughs> it's oh. just called 10th grade lit. <laughs> well, we have ninth grade, lit, grade lit, lit, American, <laughs> lit, and then, and then government type <laughs> documentaries, and documents, and stuff like that. Tenth grade is lit, yo. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm so cool. I use the word lit, unironically. 
What I realized, <laughs> what I realized is that it. we Shut started, up. dude. We started this podcast when um, we were like you were a sophomore and I was a freshman. Yeah, and now I'm a freshman. You're a sophomore. <laughs> Dang, <laughs> I've went down. <laughs> Evolution. Went Evolution. Wait, uh, selection. Wait, Stephen, what uh, what grade are you in? I just told you I'm a freshman. Oh, <laughs> nah, he's uh, a junior. He's just a year older than us. Oh, he's a ginger. Okay. Yeah, he's a ginger. I'm a ginger. <laughs> yeah. But uh, it's like the same thing with our history classes. We have um, world history and then American history. And then we have, because we only have three classes that we have to take. And our third one's American government and economics. Mm. It's like. It's... Wait, so what's your schedule? Like, how many classes do you have a day? Uh, Eight. Eight? Technically eight. No, we how have, many uh, do you have during the core school day? Oh, seven. But we have a full seven. hour Jesus, of lunch period. Dude. We have four. What the f Yeah. <laughs> it's like two academics and two electives. That's like the traditional way to do it. Uh, if you're like an AP person or like in STEM or something, usually it's like three or f all four of your blocks are academics. Um, yeah, that's really. how we do it. <clears throat> I know that Aaron has three academics a semester. And well, like I mean... Elective. Yeah. Wait, what did she have uh, last semester? I don't remember, to be completely honest with you. She doesn't really tell me her schedule. I know mm. she had Mr. Young for fourth block. Um, yeah. She had, I think, like, AP, she human, like, environmental... Is she taking environmental science? She did last semester for second environmental block. Environmental science? She did. She did physical science last uh, last semester. Right now, because she had like a head. Remember with the no, that was that was, no, that was that was AP it. human. Yeah, that was for AP human environmental. I think huh. it, it had to have been. Mm. Yeah. No, that's physical science. Is it? No, no, never mind. I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about. I I have a very traditional schedule cuz I don't like all yeah. the extracurricular. I don't like all the extra stuff. It's too do. much work for me. And I'm Get a lazy hard boy. That stuff, dude. What are you talking about? I'm a lazy boy. Like taking literature at CC is a stretch. I'm just saying. <laughs> um I don't know. I take a audio class this semester. I take literature, I take physical science and then I have an art class. <clears throat> um, I don't do anything in physical science because she doesn't really. She she's she seems like a pretty good teacher, um, because all she does is like, she's like, here's the material on the Google Classroom, do it. I'll walk around and check on you guys, ask you for help if you need it, or a ask if you guys need help if you need it. Um, so she just kind of teaches like that. She's a very passive teacher, and then mm. literature and. Not a huge fan of. Mm. So. But then I, I love my art class. Because I have it with Zach. <laughs> <laughs> and Zach's always nice to be around. Um, and then I have an audio class, which I'm really passionate about. Stuff like that, so. Yeah. What are you taking, Steven? Oh, wow, he left. What the heck? Where'd he go? Dude, I think his computer crashed. Right? <laughs> I was like, dude, he hasn't said a single thing. I think we're talking about school too much. <laughs> what is your schedule, Alex? I have pre-engineering first block. Yeah. Uh, and then I have STEM literature. And then I have uh, AP Europe. And then I have... Uh, STEM chemistry. Hmm. STEM chem. Yes, you will. Oh, speaking of that, my sister gets to go on a field trip to CEC. And mm. she will be there in the morning as opposed to afternoon. So you might actually see her. That's okay. Arnold takes a, a field trip to CEC every year. Mm. That's the I only reason why I knew about CEC. I think Lee does that too. I saw like, uh... What was it? It was, yeah, it was like, uh... Yesterday morning, 
So it's like a group of like middle schoolers coming in. Rip. Yeah. Do you know Timmy's ex goes to CC? Oh uh, yeah. Marinara Not sauce. Really, I know that. Yeah. Yeah. We used to we would call her other Will. As like <laughs> Wait, a joke. Why? Because there was this dude named Will that sat next to uh, the dude that sat next to me. And one day he was absent. Well, uh, Marinara sat right next to Will on the other side. So mm. we looked over and we would just be like, hey, Will, no response. Because she didn't know. <laughs> and we'd be like, hey, Will, no response. So like a couple <laughs> months later, the dude who sits next to me was absent, but Will was there. So we started calling Marinara uh, other Will. Mm. And we got her to respond to it. So the next, uh, like next week, when he came back, my friend came back. We call, we said other will, and she responded, and it freaked him out. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, that that was a good experience. She didn't recognize okay. me, surprisingly. You remember mm. when uh, Timmy introduced me to her at the football game? No. Do you remember the football game? <laughs> Yeah, I remember the football game, I just don't remember, uh, man introducing you. Well, you remember, like, Timmy, uh, brought her there? No. Oh, really? You didn't know? I'm kidding, yeah, I do. I can't remember. Oh. Well, Timmy was like, hey, Mama Mia, here are my friends, and she looked right at me. <laughs> mm. And still didn't recognize that I was that same person. So... Mamma mia, my pizza ready. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, hey, Steven's back. Welcome back. Just don't say anything, cuck. Isn't mamma mia mean, like, my mom? I think. <laughs> my mom. Sure means my mom. My pizza ready. <laughs> my mom! You know what else likes to eat pizza? My mom. Steven. Yeah. <laughs> Dude. Mm. He won't talk. Maybe he can't That's hear us. Problem. Or maybe, maybe his mic so, is not working. Maybe he's got like autism or something. He's, he's just like socially in He's socially in Maybe his computer autism. automatically started back up. Maybe he's got like, autism. No, like, you know when your computer crashes and, no. like, Discord will start and it just puts you right back into the call that you were just in? No. Oh. Whenever I would get blue screens, it would do that. As soon as my computer would start back up, Discord would open, and it would shove me back into the call. Maybe that happened to Steven, and so he just doesn't know that he's in the call. Mm. So he's not here right now. <laughs> Oh my god. Steve, yeah. Dude, what a big boy. Um, other Steven uh, asked me yesterday if he could be on the podcast, which was a huge surprise to me because Steven mm. has always been kind of vocal about not wanting to be in videos anymore. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I mean, it's definitely surprising. Oh, his internet went out. Anyway, yeah, also Hagen asked, which wasn't surprising because Hagen's been asking for months. So. Dude, he's in the call. He's just deafened. I just told him to speak. Speak. Speak, boy. Oh, yeah, what do you think about... uh? the driving curfew. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, it's just to keep people safe, I guess. No, it's called the police don't want to do their job. It's called or, somebody know. gets into an accident and they don't want to do anything about it. So why don't we just take everybody off the road? That made me really sad because I was like thinking, oh, maybe we could hang out tonight. And it's like, well... Aaron's stuck unless she decides to ride a bike all the way here. Mm. I guess, actually, that would work now, because since there's no vehicles, it's safer to ride a bike down Lower Fayetteville. 
<laughs> yeah. There's a less likely chance that you'd get hit by a car. I mean, then again, there's like more likely a chance of you like, I don't know, like slipping or something. Yeah. Dude, mm. Steven's going to the store with his dad. You know, well, that's like the definition of a homosexual right there. Yes. If you want to like to find the word homosexual, it's just Stephen. Whenever you look Whatever up homosexual in the dictionary, it comes up with Stephen Hill. Yeah. Specifically, not the Asian one. Mm. Yeah. So, um, do you have any like, like, what do you want to like do as like a passion project? Because obviously, you know, my passion project is film. <clears throat> what do you mean? What do you want to do, like, as, like, a thing? My would... passion, or, like... Yeah. I don't know. 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 Like, how his, uh... Was it... How his, um... Like, computer engineering, uh, like, affected, like, the way we live and all that. Oh. Yeah. So... What I'm gathering is... I, like, you know, when, when I grow up, I want to be an engineer, so... Okay. Yeah. Alright. Uh, but I also, like, I don't know, I want to do something like computer science as well. Yeah. So, I think... I feel like you could do both. Uh, but I don't know, I feel like... I, I, like, I want... I, like, I'm interested in both, but I'm leaning more towards, like, engineering. Yeah. Yeah. I don't now, know. What type of engineer? I'm not sure. Something in like, like trying like an electrical engineer or something like that. I'm having to like, I'm mm -hmm. like kind of preparing myself by putting a safety net under me, with the whole audio thing. Cause like yes, while I do, want to take audio, so then I know what I'm doing <laughs> on the audio side yeah. of things, yeah. with film. Um, it's also like a good safety net to fall back on. Cause now I have the same, now I have the skill set of an audio engineer. Mm. Like, I can mix and master and record, like, music tracks. Like, if, I think I that, used, be your, um, if you watched, mix and master. Yeah, yeah, dude. If you, if you heard the, um, you, you watched, I'm assuming you watched the god-awful pilot episode of Alex's Mind. Um, oh, yeah. You remember that, like, that guitar sounding song in the beginning? Uh, when Jordan I was think. walking? I think so, not really. If you go back and watch it, there's a track that I use. It's the second demo for a song that we were working on. Mm. Obviously, the song sounds way better now because it's pretty much finished. Because we've actually fully mixed it and somewhat mastered it. Mm. But that was like an early version of a track that I had been working on with my friend at the time. Mm. So... I mean, you know, that kind of stuff kind of bleeds into what I do. <clears throat> and then there's a class that we just got approved for the course offering um, mm. called Live Sound and Field Audio. And the requirements are either take Audio 1 or take Film 1, which I've done both of those. So I'm, I'm obviously going to take it. Get cheered at Get the big G. <laughs> Steven suggested that we pray this podcast, which would be the third podcast in a row where we do something religious. <laughs> Come on, fellas, join me in prayer. <laughs> Happy Sunday, fellas. <laughs> Uh, anything you want to talk about since you're a host? You can bring up whatever topic. Uh, <clears throat> Great. Very insightful. Yeah. My favorite topic. <laughs> can we just, like, take a moment to trash on Steven? Sure. <laughs> I think this is the first time where he's been in an episode and then just left... <laughs> In the middle of the episode. <laughs> yeah, I'm a fucking faggot. I know, dude. How gay. Which of a homo do you have to be just to leave your friends? I know. In the middle of a podcast. 
Uh, what a faggot, dude. Just to see the host of. Uh, you want to hear some slightly good news and slightly bad news? No. Nah. That that whole demonetization thing that Steven was talking about, um, that I told him that he only had a minute to talk about, uh, that whole th debacle was basically my channel's no longer going to be able to monetize videos. Uh, hmm. And neither is his, and neither is Dalton's, neither is Hagen, Timmy, or any of us. Uh, because we don't have a thousand subs, and we also don't have 4,000 watch time hours uh, within a calendar year. So mm. we're not able to monetize. And, ooh, I just found something spicy. Anyway, what that means is, the bad news is I'm not earning any money. Which, not like I earned much anyway. I don't really care about that. It just means yeah. that I'm not earning anything at all now, as opposed to the two mm. cents that I was earning before. But the good news is I don't have to deal with the monetization issues anymore, which means a series like Alex's Mind, which involves, like, we're shooting people and s there's a lot of mild swearing and, you know, stuff like that. Mm. Yeah. We have a lot more freedom to do that now without worrying mm. about getting demonetized. So, but then mm. that also deals with the fact that we're probably not going to get promoted by YouTube because YouTube doesn't really promote much content that's not monetized <clears throat> yeah. because it doesn't make them money. It, it's a big pros and cons. Which one outweighs the other? Kind of dealio. Mm. All in all, it's Logan Paul's fault. <laughs> <laughs> God, that pisses me off. Well, I mean, you know, the video wouldn't have even, like, gained traction if, you know, YouTube had, like, not been big old boys. I know. And, you know, just, like, remove the video and not put it on trending. <laughs> I don't understand why the whole platform gets punished, because it's, like... Yeah. Yeah, I get that he's a big YouTuber, but, like, just give him a community guideline strike. I mean, like he yeah, still, I mean, he's, he's still gonna, like, follow the rules. I know, that's why I'm saying give him a guideline strike like he you would anybody else. Disconnect his ties from YouTube Red. Like PewDiePie is making Hitler jokes. And that's the end of it. Don't punish the whole platform because of that. Like, it's not our fault that Logan Paul went to Japan and filmed uh, a dead body. Yeah, it is. Yeah, dude. You should have said no. We should have stopped him. Yeah, it should have been like, no. We should have stopped the low gang it. while we had the chance. <laughs> low, low gangsters are low gangsters. The people that follow him piss me off so much. There's a girl that was in my web design class last semester that said to me, because I made like a, a Jake Paul joke, and like me and Hagen were just kind of making fun of it, and this girl's like, ew, Jake Paul, I like Logan better. I'm a maverick. <laughs> and I just like kind of threw up in my mouth a little bit. <laughs> it was so dis It was so stupid. And that was the last time I ever spoke to her. <laughs> I've seen like girls like like there's like this like one girl that was walking around school and she had like a freaking Maverick sweatshirt on. A little, a little concerned. Uh, okay. If I had money to burn, I'd buy Maverick merch just to wear as a meme. I'd buy a hoodie, and I'd wear it around just seeing which people would recognize that it's a. Yeah, you know, if that were to happen, I would buy a gun. And just proceed to gun down your house and everyone, you know. <laughs> I've thought about buying the God Church shirt. Oh, yeah. That, that Did you see H33's new video where he's wearing it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, it's about time. So little faggot is trying to heal. Let's kill him. A little homosexual. I wanted to, um, and I know a lot of people that do this on, like, series and stuff, like, to keep this kind of a secret, uh, to keep, like, the lore hidden, but speaking of some behind-the-scenes stuff, I want to have the, you know, like, the series that we tried to do, like, we finished no. one of them, 
and then we tried to do another one and just, it just oh, fell yeah. apart. Yeah. I, I want to take yeah. those universes because obviously those two series are connected. One's a prequel, one's a sequel. Mm. Um, and we never actually made the one that went in the middle. I want to take that universe and make it just kind of interconnected with Alex's mind. So it happens in like the same multiverse, but at the same time, they're in like their own separate universe. In the same multiverse? Yeah, they're in the same multiverse. You sure of that? So like, if at any point we wanted like John's character to just like snap his fingers and bring over a character from that other universe, he could do it. Because I mean, we've seen that Alex's mind is already a multiverse. Like, we have the Void, which is its own universe yeah. in itself, which means there is a version of us in that universe. No, it's not. Yes. Okay. <laughs> That's how I like to think about it. I feel like that would be a cool little concept. Mm. It could open the door for a lot more things, like killing Jordan twice. Mm. <laughs> or killing anybody twice. Hmm. You could kill me and then bring me back. But it's not me. Uh, but it is. Yep. <sighs> yeah, I don't know what else to talk about. Take it away. <clears throat> hmm. How about that Fortnite grind? Oh my god. So you weren't here when we were setting up for the podcast, but did you hear what I told Steven? No. Um, I am currently playing uh, Minecraft on the Wii U. <laughs> oh yeah. We're okay, serious gamers up in here. Wow. We've got Fortnite. We've got <laughs> Minecraft Wii U edition. Alec, uh, not Alex. Uh, Steven was playing World War Two. On his Xbox before we started. So. I mean, World War II is not like a homosexual game like Fortnite or uh, Minecraft. It's a pretty homosexual. It's a Call of Duty game. I mean, it's it's a Call of Duty game. It's yeah, it's a homosexual game, but it's I mean, it's still a Call of Duty game. It's meant it's for not men really, and thirteen-year-olds. You know, <laughs> meant for thirteen-year-olds. Well, Minecraft is meant for twelve-year-olds. We recently like sold to GameStop right. the first ever COD that I've ever owned on a console. Mm. I was I was kind of sad, but at the same time, it's like one of the worst Call of Duties there is. Yeah, you weren't you weren't sad. It was Advanced Warfare for the PS3. If you're sad, then you're a pussy. <laughs> you should just off yourself. Yeah. You're sad about selling a COD game. Well, it was you know it had some sentimental value. I guess. Probably not, but still. Uh, my dad bought a PS4. No, you didn't. You're right. See, told you. <laughs> no, you didn't. You should get uh, PUBG. Did Jordan go knock on your door earlier? Yeah. <sighs> I'm surprised he hasn't received the message of go away. Yet for me, because the moment I answered the door and saw it was him, I literally just closed it, <laughs> and then I was like, "Go away!" Like I don't understand what he expects me to say at this point. Yeah, I'm gonna come outside. <laughs> no, I'm not. <sighs> Dude, Steven should come back. Mm -hmm. uh, do you have anybody that you would want to bring on as a guest? At a later point? Uh, I don't know. You think like uh, Sean would be a good guest? Who all would want to. Yeah, yeah. You think Sean would be a good guest? Uh, I don't know. We'd have to pick people that oh, like yeah. are that you would know are comfortable being on a yeah. podcast. 
I also feel like this is going to be one of those things where it's going to take us another two years to get a female on this podcast. <clears throat> get Aaron on here. What? Get Aaron on here. Yeah. Mm. No, because like, I think it took my YouTube channel um, a year and a half before there was any girl that was ever on the channel. Or maybe, or no, it took me a year. And it was some girl that is in, like, past videos. That I almost never talk to now. Hmm. So. It's gonna be like that. What games do you want to see? come out what do you mean like over the yes. next year what games do you think would be good <laughs> I guess uh you know I mean you know, Dark Souls is coming out on the Switch soon, so I'm going to be playing that yeah uh, uh isn't there like a new Mario game coming out no, there's DLC for Mario Odyssey that's coming out. It's going to be free, though. It's just like some yeah. extra stuff there to it. What happened to that? I thought, like, the Rabbits Lynch. and Mario crossover. Oh, uh, that's, that's, that already came out. Oh, because I saw Jordan uh, literal watching something about that. Mm. And I was like, oh, that's cool. Whoa, that was some crazy stuff! <laughs> it's like epic. He was watching a Nintendo Direct video in the middle of Mentor Group. <laughs> Mr. Hughes just doesn't care. It's great. Like after Mr. Hughes showed us the grid, um, he just started. He showed us videos of that guy that likes getting bitten by wild animals. Like what? the videos by that guy that got bit by the bull and ant. Uh, I don't, I don't remember that. You remember that meme? Like, the guy sitting out in the jungle, and, like, he picks up a bullet ant, lets it bite his arm, and then he just wallows on the ground screaming in pain. <laughs> I feel like I know what you're talking about. I can't, can't remember. I, I know what you're talking about. I've, he wears, I've like, a that. stupid hat. Yeah. yeah, I don't know, I don't know. Okay. Well, yeah, that's what we were watching. I know what you're talking about, but okay, I don't. In our previous mentor group, Mr. Hughes brought out a giant dead shark and was like, who wants to see a dead shark? Nice. <laughs> Dude, Steven's usually the ones that brings all the topics. <laughs> I don't ever prepare for these. Here, let me check the twits. Let me check the titties. Oh, great. Number one trending. YouTube partnership program. Oh my god. What a statistic. What? So... <clears throat> yes, uh, ninety percent of all monetized channels on YouTube will be kicked off the YouTube Partnership Program. Jeez. Yeah. The fact that they actually think people with a thousand subs get four thousand watch time hours a year <clears throat> is a little surprising. Find their way of like, uh... I'm just trying to save money. No, they make less money doing that. How? Because advertisers show their ads and then YouTube gets a cut of that. Mm. Yeah, so if anything, they're making way less money from that. It's just so stupid. I don't know. Man, everything trending on Twitter is god-awful. 
Hashtag Everything sick boy. Dumb. Oh, it's just a band. Or no, it's just a song. Yeah, it's just a song. Oh my god, I saw the hashtag ask Zach last week. <laughs> hashtag Zach. <laughs> I'm gonna look up hashtag ask Zach and just start answering the questions. <laughs> uh, the first question is, what do you think about the Logan Paul situation? I actually don't know what you think about it, Alex. But I would assume right. you think pretty low of it. What do you think about the whole Logan Paul thing? Uh, I mean, there's not like a whole lot to really say about it now, honestly. Yeah. <laughs> you know. All right, next question. Hashtag ask Everybody Zach. Everybody makes mistakes. If you guys want to ask us questions, just tweet at the hashtag ask Zach. <laughs> 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 Who's your favorite NBA team? By the way, I love you. Thank you very much, Katrina. Wow. What's your favorite NBA team, <laughs> Alex? Uh, my favorite's the uh, boys. The the one with uh, uh, LeBron James on it. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Would you ever come to South Carolina and do a meet and greet in Columbia Hall ma a Mall? Uh, yes, I would, Savage Gal. Next question. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, Are they actually asking you, or is this just, no, just like... they're asking this random YouTuber. It's hashtag ask Zach. <laughs> Why did you decide to change your look? By the way, I love you so much, and I love your new look. Thank you, Jade. Uh, so I decided to change my new my look um, <laughs> because I was forced to. So, uh, yeah. I don't know, Alex. Why would you decide to change your look? Alex. Huh, wait, what? <laughs> why would you decide to change your look? Oh, well, yeah, I was... My, my look that I had before... I was thinking, you know what, it's, it's, this is getting pretty old, so why don't I, uh, why don't I, why don't I change it around? And so, yeah, then I, I got a giant tattoo on my face with, like, wings on the side, so now I have, like, now, now it looks like I have, like, wings, like, on the sides of my face and all that. Yeah. So, anyway. Okay. All right, hold on. Uh, next question. Hmm. Uh, what made you want to become Bad Zach? Well, you know, honestly, I sat down with my PR team, and I was like, what's the next best move to gain traction? And the number one answer I got was rename myself to Bad Zach. So that's, that's exactly what I did. I don't know, Alex, why'd you decide to become Bad Zach? Alex? Alex? Sorry, I'm like looking at like videos and I'm like, wait, what? Why'd you, be, why'd you decide to become Bad Zach? I'm not Bad Zach. Dang, dude. Truth is out there. I'm not talking about, yeah. Oh, wait, yeah, recording. Fuck. Uh, <laughs> I mean, uh, <laughs> uh, uh, uh. So, um, <laughs> what's funny is nobody even know it, knows what you just did, because my Discord's on streamer mode. So, uh, this next question is, if you could live, uh, if you could only live with one person of your, for your life, who would it be? P.S. Love you. Thank you. Um, Phoebe Maycox. I don't know how to say that. Phoebe Phoebe? 
Phoebe. Let me see. That's no, definitely not Phoebe. How is it spelled? Uh, P H O E B E M A I X O X. That's how you spell Phoebe. Huh. Yeah. Anyway, so who would you, if you could only live with one person for the rest of your life, who would you live with? My dog. <laughs> Honestly, I would decide to live with Bad Zach. But you're Bad Zach. Yeah, so I'm going to live with myself. Uh. <laughs> Alright, well. Uh. Dan, I have a question. Do you have a like multiple personality disorder? Uh, no, I just have AIDS. Uh. Yeah. I mean, I don't really see the correlation between those two things, but okay. Okay, this one's actually a pretty good question. Looks like he actually has some intelligent fans. Do you want to know when you die or how you'll die? Hmm. I'd rather know how I die. Yeah. I feel like I'd choose that one too. Just because, like, I don't want to be... die. I'd always, like, dread that day. I'd be, like, counting yeah. down the days. I wouldn't want to know... And be like trying to rush. When. Or no, maybe that's a good thing if you know, because then you'll not have so much anxiety and pull back from stuff that you might have wanted to do. Like, you'll just think like, well, I'm dying in six hours, so I might as well do this. So you know. What if you I, do I everything that you can to prevent yourself from dying at that point? Like, like. I don't think like that. that's how it would work. Because yeah, what if it's, would. like, heart attack? Like, how are you going to prevent a heart attack? Uh, well, that, like, that just happens. Yeah. It's kind of hard to prevent something like that. What if you're, like, really unhealthy? And then you're like, you know what? I'm not going to be gay anymore. I'm not going to be fat. And you could still be healthy. really healthy and suffer from a heart attack. Well, that's more hereditary. Yeah. What if it's hereditary? What if it's not? And if it's just I swear to God, if Steven was here health. right now, he'd just pull out the I have a heart condition card. Because he has Let's a heart see. condition. Right. So he just be you like, shut up. On, I'm uh, like screaming at people in the PUBG game. Somebody's like uh, whispering into the mic. Can you can you clap my butt cheeks? Dude, just teach him how to pray. <laughs> Do you even know how to pray? <laughs> Do y'all know how to pray? Y'all want to know how to play? How to pray? <laughs> You teach him. Sit in the pool. Babble it by hand. Praise God. Hallelujah. <laughs> Jesus, dude. When you said sit in the pew, your mic peaked so high. <laughs> sit in the pew. Babble in my hand. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> All right. How am I gonna do this? Did you see that? I saw it on like a Instagram video or something. Oh. <laughs> it's just like how to pray, and it was like a bunch of Reddit posts. Sit oh. in the pew, Bible in my hand, praise God, Hallelujah. <laughs> what? And then it was like what? Sit in, the pew. Sit in the pew. Or no, like he would repeat like how to pray. Sit in the pew. I don't know. What's that one? Have you seen that one? It's like with uh, like Anakin and uh, Obi Wan. And like Anakin's like I don't know. I don't even remember what like what is, like exactly they're talking about. It's like how to relax or how to fuck or something like that. I don't, I don't remember like exactly what it was. <laughs> but he's just like, sit in the bed. <laughs> I think uh, I have. I think I have spoon, seen that. Like, <laughs> titty my hand. <laughs> yeah, I have seen that. <laughs> I, I can't remember it. <laughs> I specifically remember the titty in my hand. I'm gonna be quiet real quick. Okay. Not really. I'm gonna try to be silent. Cause uh, I'm just gonna go here. 
All right, everybody. Uh, Alex is being Thank extremely you. gay. Hey, bro. That's right. You did. All right. Am I good? Yeah, you're good. Am I good? Yeah, you're good. What? Yeah, you good. What? You good? You good? Am I good? You good? Am I good? You good? Am I though? Yes! <laughs> My mom's making banana pancakes and sweet potato pancakes. Dude, banana pancakes? Yeah, and sweet potato made a, pancakes. My mom made a hummingbird cake. I was I wanted fast food, but... 5 o'clock p.m. to 10 a.m. Oh! The 17 hour curfew that we can't leave. Make me squirt. Oh, it's so stupid. Why? Why would they do that? I, I, they're just keeping people safe. This is like the only county that's doing that. I mean, that doesn't mean that we should be doing it. They're I mean, I'm assuming things. we can still leave our houses, right? Like, we can ride yeah. bikes. Hey, still leave, obviously, yes. Yeah, I'm assuming. No, you can't leave your house, Dane. If you leave, we assassinate. <laughs> no, it's like up to 60 days in jail or a $1,000 fine if you go out No, driving. it's like a $3,000 fine. Like, yeah. yeah. If, you, uh, if you're driving, yeah. It's stupid. It's kind of insane, though, yeah. It's such an extreme punishment. I mean, I guess it prevents people from going on the roads. Whatever. It works. It okay. works. Yeah, execution yeah. works. Yeah. Should we do it? Probably Did you know that execution uh, kills people? One hundred percent of executions uh, result in people dying. Actually, there have been uh, many cases where, like, uh, execution doesn't work. You realize execution means death. Yeah, I know, but like, you know, people have been like sentenced to like, like, you know, like death sentence and all that, and then like, you know, didn't die. I just remember the Rick and Morty episode where it's like the dude's about to get the electric chair. And they bring the son in there. He didn't eat his son! I think it's the Beth episode. That's all it reminds me of. Uh, oh. Oh, the one that where they like, yeah, no, they, she like... He's like that, in the electric order. chair because he was convicted of eating his son. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they like showed him like, like last he, second. He was really into like that like one, like worlds thing i don't know he was in like you know some weird like rainbow land area place yeah fruity land or Brown. something yeah that was a that was a pretty decent episode i liked it yeah i was disappointed in the finale but then i when i figured out like why the finale was the way it was i just gave it a pass because then mm. they said they were going to use those ep the episodes that was planned for the finale they were just going to end up using them in the next season. Because mm. I think this season was supposed to be like 14 episodes. But Adult Swim said they could only use 10. Hmm. So they're just, they just said they were going to use the, the extra ones for um, the next season. I was like, alright, whatever. That is fine. so much 9mm ammo. What do you think about our new camera? New camera? The new Canon camera that I got for Christmas. Oh yeah, I don't know. It's good. It's a lit. Need a helmet. So as Steven does not return, mm. I want to like keep going until he comes back. Yeah. Oh. No, I, I'm just dragging him back in. He's not actually back yet. He uh, got moved to the yeah. AFK chat because he's been gone for half an hour. <laughs> Good. We understand the confusion, but this has been in the works for a while. This is a tweet from the YouTube creator's Twitter. And Susan Wajowski referenced it in her December blog post. We're trying to prevent bad content from slipping under the radar and getting monetized. Mm. 
At the same time, we know the size alone doesn't indicate whether a channel is suitable for ads. That's why we're also changing Google Preferred. Moving forward, the channels included there will be manually reviewed. Oh my god! What? Oh my god! That scared the shit out of me. <laughs> and ads oh. will only run on videos that meet our guidelines. Alrighty. Dude, where was he? What happened? He was just like waiting behind a corner. Little cuck. You know what I like? I like all of those memes where, like, the you can see, like, at the top a text message from the FBI. <laughs> like, there's one where, like, someone's typing out a tweet. Yeah, well, if tomatoes are really fruits, why is Bob the tomato on veggie te And then, like, there's a tweet, or not a tweet, there's a text from the FBI saying, you better not finish that effing sentence. <laughs> <laughs> There's one where it's like from the FBI. Hey baby, you still coming over? We still getting some fuck. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty good. I like the memes. Would you go quiet when you say the F word, Dean? Uh, I'm allowed to say the F word. <laughs> can't curse in your house. No, I could have easily said fucking. Nah, you can't. I just didn't want to. Nah, you can't. I've been trying to clean up my... No, no, you're Vocabulary. Not. Why? Because I've I end up like slipping up a lot. You're not. I feel like I need to kind of chill out. You know. I admire the people like Sean, who can not swear, voluntarily. Yeah. Like that's pretty impressive to me. That he hears it so much, but he still doesn't really do it. Yeah. Like it's very occasional. It's the same thing with, like, um, I don't think I've ever heard Young Juan swear. But I'm yeah. sure he's done it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Like, just people like that. They don't have, like, that impulsive behavior to just swear all the time. I admire that. Because mm. I, I can't do that. I try, but it's so difficult for me. Alright, you know what? Dude, this a creeper blew load, me up. I'm gonna, I'm gonna like, shoot myself. A creeper blew me up, so I'm just kinda... Creeper blew you up. Dude, you wanna... You wanna start, like, a like New World just on PC? No. <laughs> Why not? I really don't wanna play Minecraft play together. this. We play together. Oh, God. Why not? Because I'm gay. Oh. Yeah. yeah you, you don't wanna play Minecraft. I'm not here. I'm not. I'm you. not here trying to play with some homos. I'm not trying to play with any gays. <laughs> oh no! I lost my sword. Oh, never mind. There it is. Good. If I had lost it, I would have filed a lawsuit. I wonder, like, what kind of dumb lawsuits have been filed, like in recent years. Like, how many people have sued over just dumb stuff? Barley House and, uh, Faith Banks. <laughs> he hacked into my Minecraft account. I'm pretty sure you can actually sue somebody over that. Yeah, you can sue actually... him for stealing your property. Uh... <laughs> it's stupid. But it's true, I think. Yeah, it's my Minecraft account. Someone stole my Minecraft account. Stole my gay account. He stole my gayhub.com Dude, account. this dude hacked into my grinder account. He stole all my gay porn off my computer. He stole my candy bar. Dude. He burnt my cheek. <laughs> he burnt my cheek. You burnt my cheek. <laughs> Dude, it's uh, day 12. Steven is still not returned. <laughs> Speculation. Oh yeah, Alexa, play. Play. You have to tell it what to play. 
No, no, no. I had the music playing earlier. Oh. Resume. Alexa. Resume. Play. Do Alexa resume. It's the same thing, Dane. All right. Alexa, resume. Did you do it? Uh, you should, like, bleed the key or something. Alexa, play Britney Spears. <laughs> Can't hear you. Mine downstairs is probably going to hear me say that. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to start blasting Britney Spears. Play fat men have anal sex. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> There's a reason why I didn't say Alexa in that. Have you watched the South Park episode with um the Alexas? Mm-mm. -hmm. Thank you, Holly, for interrupting the podcast. There's a no. South Park episode. I think it was the season premiere. And, like, he had, like, a bunch of Google Homes and Alexas. And he just yells out, Alexa, Simon says, eat my hairy butthole or something like that. And <laughs> it activated my Alexa. And at full volume, my Alexa said that around the whole house. Wait, What? Yeah, oh my, my Alexa said, eat my hairy butt <laughs> to the whole house. <laughs> I was watching it with my parents, and they were like, jeez, dude. Alexa, say eat my hairy butthole. I think it's Simon Says. Okay, she said, I'm not going to answer that. Sag it. Do Where's Simon she? Says. Hello. All right. Oh, are you back? Alexa. Yeah. Simon Says, uh, die. Wait, what did what did he say? Did he say Simon says? Uh, he said Simon says, "Eat my hairy butthole." Oh. So what are you guys? Alexa, doing Simon says, "Eat my hairy butthole." There we go. <laughs> so wait, what are you guys doing now? We're still Smash recording. Alexa. Yeah. Oh, you guys are. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I was like, dude, we're gonna keep going until Stephen comes back. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's back now. So I'm back now. Yeah, we can end it. Yeah, school. <laughs> School got canceled tomorrow, so. Good. I'm gonna go to the um, store with my dad. The big boy store. Which store did you go to? Kroger. Oh. He's one of those people. Didn't have a choice. Publix was closed, and so was Walmart. <laughs> Walmart should never be one of your options to shop at. Well, up here there's like 20 of them, and every Kroger and stuff like that are so far away, so we kind of have no choice. Alex, you know how there's a Starbucks in Kroger? Uh, yeah. You want to you want to hear something stupid? Huh? Um, right across the street where all that construction is, they're building a Chipotle with a Starbucks in it. My god. <laughs> god has forsaken us. Yeah, I saw that tweet that you sent out, that you retweeted, Dane. Oh, yeah. You think that, uh, the... Yeah? You think last school tomorrow? Or not? They are not tomorrow. Um, Friday. Yeah, no, they they are canceled. Yeah, on Friday. Yeah. Actually, sure. we if we, we have it, really if we don't have it on Friday and they don't declare it an emergency, there's a chance we might have to make it up. Over yeah, yeah. Breaks. I've been having yesterday and today have both been online school days for me, online learning days. Oh. So I've had to do work anyways. Nice. Let's see, how's it gonna be tomorrow? Thursday they're saying a high of 41 and a low of 25. Dude, today it was like a low of 16. Well, with the wind chill up here, it was, it was zero. Nice. So. Oh, okay, you guys want to end it? Doesn't matter to me. Or do you want to keep going? What else is there to talk about? I don't know. YouTube tweeted out about their new policy. Yeah. If you go to the YouTube creators Twitter, you'll see it. I'm not allowed to talk about it anymore. No, you can't. It. I'll give you permission. No, I'm not allowed. I just gave you permission. Nope, I'm not allowed. 
Steven, tell me, do you love your dog? Yeah. No, you don't. Yeah, I do. His asshole's mine. First of all, it's a her. So get your fucking back before mine. you say shit. Don't misgender it. it either way, it's mine. <laughs> At the same time, we know that size alone doesn't indicate whether a channel is suitable for ads. That's why we're also changing Google Preferred. Moving forward, the channels include... The channels included that will be manually reviewed and ads will only run on videos that meet our guidelines. Now what you want to bet they're just going to like wipe out PewDiePie from the whole thing? They're Somebody said, ah uh, yes. Somebody said, ah uh, yes, demonetizing small channels, that will show Logan Paul. <laughs> I saw that. And then they said, we <laughs> understand. They retweeted it. Yeah. Wait, what did they say? Uh, we we understand the confu confusion, but this will, but this has been in the works for a while. And Susan Waj Wojcicki, Jewish last name, um, <laughs> referred a, a December blog post. We we're trying to prevent bad content from slipping under the radar and being monetized. I understand how that slipped under the radar. Yeah. From a big channel like him. 15, yeah, is it like 15 garbage million content. subscribers? Yeah, it's like 15 million a year. Probably at 16 million now. Dude, we gotta but get my garbage before, content off this platform. Before it was uh, uh, taken off YouTube, it had like 500,000 to 600,000 uh, likes on it. <laughs> so you can definitely tell that they're... Um, viewers don't give a fuck yeah they don't they don't care if what it's about if it says logan if it's from logan paul they don't care yeah pretty much that's all they want is a logan paul video that you know pretty much that they could i'm about to die from a witch because i'm retarded five-year-old penises yep. too i just died from a witch fucking nerd dude dude herbs do you guys ever watch Phineas and Ferb? Yes. Who hasn't? Uh, freaking gay boys. Don't you dare say African children because you're gonna know that. I said it's gay a boys. fucking gay joke. No. Did you did you know that uh, I asked a couple of kids in like elementary school or not even elementary school, middle school? No, not even elementary uh, school, preschool. I I asked them <laughs> if they know what the electric slide is, and they said no. The electric slide? Really? Yeah. Do you guys not know what that is? Do you not? Dane doesn't know what that is. I, I, know what that I is. was just like, I haven't heard that in a sure long time. You sure you know what it is? What is it then, Dane? Uh, no, it's something. the electric shuffle. Sorry. That's slide. I'm thinking yeah. of the cha-cha slide. They didn't know what the cha-cha slide was either. Like, oh, no. Fucking disgrace. <laughs> oh, no. Die. You should have showed it to them. Every day we stray right from there. Every day we stray further tender. from God. And these were middle school. These were like eight, eighth graders. They weren't even like. You guys know who uh, Logan Paul is? They weren't yeah, even I mean, like I sixth ate, I asked a bunch of um. What is it? Big boys. I asked a bunch of I eighth like, graders. I want to like go to like Newton Crossing now because like yeah, you know, James is in uh he's in fifth grade now. Yeah. <laughs> but <laughs> I wanna, when I, I asked, like, ask, like the kids are like, hey, you guys know who uh, Logan Paul is? Mm. But when I went there and I asked uh, them if they knew what that was. All of them had fidget spinners though. Oh nice. They were all just sitting there twirling their twirling their dicks around also. God, where'd you go to ask these kids? The daycare center? My no, the middle school oh, I was yeah. at that I went to. Oh no. No. And these were kids I was I was a sophomore. So these were kids two years younger than me. Oh no. They didn't be know very what the strategic. Election. Oh, kill the witch! How much health does this thing have? Uh, Jesus, 20. Dude. It's got the same health as a normal player. Oh my god, I drowned. <laughs> Fucking idiot. Alright, podcast is about to be over. Alex, do the outro. I swear to god, Steven, if you say a word. What? Wait, what? <clears throat> Alex, do the outro to the podcast. I don't know the outro. Alex, you have Just the outro say, to the big boy, bye. Can I do it, please? No, you do it, it.
I'm good Same at doing it. it. Yeah, you do it then. I've already done it enough. I don't care, hey, do it. Hey everyone, thank you guys so much for watching the Operation 18 podcast. Uh, everyone's Twitter is going to be down in the description below. So Except if you for want Ouch, to because he doesn't have one. Yeah. Except for this dumb kid. Or he does, I just can't find go, it. <laughs> you can go check that out. And um, subscribe to Dane's channel uh, if you haven't already. And uh, like the video. And Please thank don't. You. <laughs> we gotta get We got to get Dane monetized. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, I'll see you next time. Peace. Goodbye. Pick up the, the sword. Pick up the thesaurus. Stop recording, Dane. I did. Did you do it right, right when I said peace? I can edit it, <laughs> Steven. I don't think you did. Cut it out halfway through where I said peace. Pete. Pete. <laughs> yeah, I'll do that.